Oh my god, this is such a hard question to answer, but um, because there's so many things about the Chopin competition that I like to take part in. There's like um, the amazing jurors, you get an opportunity to play for such an amazing juror, uh, jury panel. Um, there's such a great audience here in Poland. Um, yeah, it's really warm. The audience is very warm and they're very welcoming. So I really like that. Um, also because um, it's taking part in Chopin's favorite place. So um, of course, like there's also um, Chopin's heart down at the church or something. And yeah, so there's like so many opportunities to um, uh, basically bond yourself with Chopin. And also, um, yeah, just the great performing experience. Um, great pianos too. There's just like infinite number of things. I think the Chopin competition is very special. There is, I think, only one really major competition that focuses on one composer. I mean, there's many other like Chopin competitions for youth, but this one is the one. Like when you say you're going to Poland for a piano competition, they ask Chopin. So, um. Also, just because there's been so many famous um, prize winners, they're so great, like legendary pianists like Martha Argerich, um, Christian Zimmerman, infinite list. It's amazing, just amazing competition. Everything, Cock it's like a cocktail of emotions. Like you feel happiness, sadness, um, excitement, of course, sometimes nervous, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, also, um, yeah, just, um, you just feel like you're in, like, a world that's, like, constantly, like, moving, and it's a very nice experience, too, very sensational. That is one really difficult question. Um, I guess Chopin is very charming. He's, he was a very noble person. Um, when you see pictures of him, usually he always has white gloves on, so that demonstrates his um, nobility, his class. So I think um, one should be um, kind of somewhat determined and, and very charming when they play. They should play. Um, of high class and um, not too wild and um, basically, yeah, I think that's what I would say. Um, I really don't know. Um, I'm not quite yet a professional pianist, so I would not know, but I'd say hearing from um, other people's experiences, I think if you're um, a concert pianist, it's very hard to um, adapt to different environments because you're always traveling around the world. You're always, you're basically, your home is the airport, the airplane. And um, I think, yeah, sometimes like, um, it can be very exhausting and very tiring. So um, I think that's it. Um, in general, I'd say yes, because, um, for me, it, mo it definitely motivates me to practice. And um, there is also like a deadline. So um, you have to push yourself. You're motivated to achieve what you kind of want by that deadline. So it kind of helps you improve sometimes. But um, I think when it gets to the point where you become too stressed or sometimes, yeah, when you perform, you're too nervous, that's also not very good. So um, I think, um, but overall, I think it motivates you, but you can't take it too seriously as if it's your whole entire life or else you'd be too stressed and then your music would sound forced and then it, it doesn't work like that. So, yeah. I'd say for me, um, I would consider myself a student for my entire lifetime. There's an infinite number of things that one can learn and um but um i'd say yeah when you're very experienced when you're um extremely professional very experienced um great music playing i think that's when you might 
be able to give yourself a title of be, be, being an artist, but um, I'd call myself a student, a lifetime student, because I think even if you're outstanding, absolutely amazing, and you're the best in the world, you can still improve. There's an infinite number of improve, well, like there's like infinite space for improvement, so yeah. Chopin is awesome. <laughs>